بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله continue on in our study of some of the issues regarding marriage some general advice uh, before marriage and also which is a part of maintaining uh, love and uh, good relations in the household between the husband and wife the first thing I have to fill out is setting goals and cooperating that it's imperative as a household to have uh, goals because you have expectations in the in the mar marital bond so it's imperative that we have goals and that we have a way of cooperating and I recall uh, when being in Medina one of our mashayikh we went to visit him Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab al-Aqil Allah Ta'ala and he was me speaking about one of the scholars and I'm sure he didn't mention the scholar by name but it, it was well known who he was talking about and he was talking about the Sheikh had had multiple wives this alam who's still alive may Allah bless him and he said that it's very important at tafahim and that uh, and that that there's cooperation and there's a type of understanding and compromise in marriage and that sometimes you may not meet one another's expectations or even one another's haq would all fall short the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said all the children of Adam make mistakes and the best of those who make mistakes are those who repent so letting us know that we have expectations and we have faults you, you're going to find faults in your household you're going to find faults in your wife and your wife's going to fall, find faults in you but having a way to cooperate understanding you have those shortcomings and not always being severe and asking for your rights. Sometimes you may uh, not, there may be some shortcomings in the rights. For example, the wife may not give the husband the rights that he deserves, so he should not rush to divorce her in this situation. This one time, she was tired, she didn't feel like having relations, so you divorce her. Or even if it was uh, a few times, that it, there has to be a type of understanding. She was sick, she was tired that day, she was angry that day whatever the situation is, that there's a type of understanding and that likewise the husband may uh, fall short in his duties as well. And so going back to the story, the, the sheikh mentioned that uh, about this other alam that he had multiple wives and one of the wives became angry and what did the sheikh do? He rushed to kiss her forehead and this took all the anger out from her. So we have to have a means for addressing those differences that you have. Another important uh, advice, Allah, is to cover one another's faults. Because once you are in the household of someone, as a woman or a, and the husband, you're going to find, you're going to see even certain sins or certain shortcomings in your partner. So you cover that, you keep that in your household. And between you and your spouse, you work those things out. Unless it is something which is so extreme, there's uh, things that uh, are going beyond the the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it requires that there's counseling or it requires something like that or something so severe or maybe that's involved uh, kufr or something like this then maybe in these situations you would have to uh, make it known to those who are uh, who can help you address those situations another important piece of advice is to strive to help one another and meet one another's needs for example uh, perhaps the husband is athletic and he is healthy he's into health so he expects from his partner that she tries to at least be healthy in her food or in her cooking and that she at least tries to not be out of shape and not uh, and to care for herself physically or likewise the opposite some husbands are uh, very out of shape and they don't have any concern for their health and the wife may be a very healthy person she may eat healthy she may love to exercise and be in shape and she expects some sort of this what attracts her so then the husband should strive to leave off those bad negative habits to have some sort of compromise that they, they're both taking care of themselves another very important thing 
uh, or along with this, another example might be the uh, one woman, she likes to do outdoor things like picnics and she likes to go hiking or this kind of thing. So then once in a while it would be a good thing for the husband to accompany or vice versa to have that because when you can share in some activities then this strengthens the love and the bond and helps the marriage to last. Another very important thing is elm in the household that there should be some time devoted to study in the household. Not everyone's going to be a student of knowledge, but the Prophet said, Talib al ilm wajibun ala kulli Muslim wa Muslim. That seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim man and Muslim woman. And the ulama, they explained that there's a certain degree of knowledge that every Muslim must know. Every Muslim, Muslim must know how to purify themselves, qahara. Every Muslim must know how to make prayer properly. Every Muslim must know how to do those duties which become an obligation upon them. So if you have wealth, then you need to learn how to pay your zakat. And you need to learn how, if you're a businessman, you need to learn how to do business in accordance with Islamic principles. So it's very important for us to know the obligation. So therefore, having some sort of study in your home, even if it's reading one hadith a day, even if it's something, uh, uh, sittings of the Quran, having your wife go to a halakha Quran or having the man, the man goes out. But everyone should have some sort of thing because this keeps life in the heart and life in the marriage. Another uh, important piece of advice of Habitatullah is that do things to soften one another's heart, giving gifts if possible, uh, if you know that your husband enjoys certain activities or he needs to relax and unwind in a certain way, then be there for him. The woman should strive to beautify herself when the man comes home, especially if he's providing for her and taking care of her, that he comes home and she's beautifying herself and trying to look her best. And likewise, the husband, he should try to smell good and be handsome for his, his wife. And this helps to keep the attraction because as we know, the love fluctuates, the hearts fluctuate. So it's very important to keep a type of spark in the marriage. Uh, and this is also incredibly important for men because men have an inclination to be, as women have an inclination, of course, to be attracted to the opposite sex, but men especially can be flighty and they are in need of those things to secure them, to anchor them. And this is what comes from having a righteous wife to tend to his needs physically, mentally, and spiritually, to beautify herself, smell good. Uh, surprise him and all of these kind of things and this will hopefully help to complement uh, a healthy marriage and we ask of all the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything i said that was correct was from the lies of a anything i said that was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan